Hello everyone, my name is Vishal Verma, Assistant Professor, Chitkara College of Hospitality Management at Chitkara University, Punjab. Today we are going to talk about being a hotelier, how do we finalize and fix a room tariff? It doesn't matter whichever hotel you're working in, maybe a budget hotel, maybe a four-star, five-star or a five-star deluxe hotel. Being a sales manager, it is everyone's utmost responsibility that a room tariff which gets finalized and which gets fixed, it should be not too economical it should not be too high but it has to be a competitive one so being a manager what should be that parameters what should we keep it in mind before a room tariff gets finalized and fixed so in today's topic we'll talk about the various contents and the parameters which one need to keep it in mind always before a room tariff gets finalized so if you can see there on your screen today we'll be discussing about cost-based pricing and the market-based pricing in order to proceed further, let's have a look at the learning objectives, which you'll be, once, once the topic gets over, what will be the learning outcomes of that? So initially, one will understand what, what is the, basically the importance of a room tariff, which we'll discuss it now, post this slide. Then one will get to know that how can, how a room tariff gets finalized with the help of cost-based pricing or maybe the market-based pricing. So we'll analyze and we'll learn the aspects from, of both of them. Now, before we proceed further, one need to understand what is a basically a room tariff and then how can we fix that? So room tariff is basically if any of a guest who turns up at the hotel and whatever services or a facility which he or she is going to consume, whatever facilities or services which a hotel is going to provide it to them, in lieu of that, a tariff or a room rate which is being charged to them is called a room tariff. Now, how a room tariff gets finalized? Now, we all must understand that room tariff which gets finalized and a fix, it's not a simple and an easy job. It's not a cakewalk for any of a manager who are working there at a hotel. It's a, it is a pretty difficult task for them because one need to keep it in mind always that we should not, we should never ever fix a rate which is too low so that the guests might not think that this hotel might not be up to that level in case they have a pretty low room rent, they might not be giving adequate services. On the other side, we should not keep a rate which should, which should be too high. They might not come over to the hotel, might, might think of that this hotel is way too high in our, in our, in our, in our reach. We should not uh, move into that hotel. We should look into some other hotel. So these are few things which a management must keep it in mind that a hotel room tariff should always be competitive. We should always look at the market. We should always look at the competitors and we should always look at the clients who, how much they can pay us and after that keeping all these parameters in mind we should always finalize the tariff so in order to have in order to achieve good revenue in order to achieve maximization revenue maximization this is very important that a room tariff which gets finalized should be competitive and perfect and has to be an accurate one further we'll discuss that there are two parameters which further decides that how a room tariff gets finalized and fixed so post this, we are going to talk about cost-based pricing and market-based pricing. Number one is cost-based pricing. If you look at the cost-based pricing, it basically talks about the cost which has been implemented onto the hotel structure. Every single owner, the moment they build up a hotel, they always keep one thing in mind that later on, they always look into the return. Whatever money which is being invested into hotel structure, at a given point of time, at a, on few years, from the hotel's inauguration, they always look into it that we need to have certain amount of profit in our pocket. So keeping all that cost, keeping all that operations, keeping all that service and facilities in mind, this is something which is always kept in the mind that the rate has to be this so that we can cover our cost. So keeping all that cost in mind, keeping all that parameters in mind, one can even get the information from the purchase one can even get the information from the other departments that what is the cost which has been implemented on the different things so according to that rate can be finalized this is something which we can understand on the cost based pricing so the ultimately motto the ultimately main aim of an owner of maybe a manager is whatever the cost which has been implemented on a structure or maybe the services keeping that in mind analyzing or calculating every single thing we can finalize we can come on to the tariff this is how which was being done in the old ages, in the previous times. The, uh, the hotel's room tariff, which was, which, which was used to be finalized 
in a hotel. But now, same thing has been altered, amended, modified, and altered and changed onto market-based pricing, which is something which is very very important. Let's look further into the market-based pricing. As you read the slide, market-based pricing is simply one's perception. Whatever one can think about it, it is simply on that. Whatever is my perception, being a manager, being in head of the department, what do I look into it? So this is something which is very important that in order to finalize the room tariff, one should always understand the location of a hotel, who I will be targeting it, who will be my clientele, the target market, whom I will be targeting. In order to target them, I need to segment the market first. I need to approach it to them. I need to check with them, their business, their company's growth, what can they pay. And then I need to accordingly keeping all these parameters in mind, I need to finalize the rates. Because being a manager, one's aim should be my competitors and my target market. These two parameters, one should keep it in mind. This is something which is very important before we can finalize a rate. Something more on market market based pricing. Now there are lots of hotels in northern India. They always drop drop their prices when they are into lean season. Maybe we can talk about maybe in the month of June and July when they are not doing good. They can bring down their rates in order to have more and more occupancy. In order to have a good occupancy, and but the drawback of that is the error might go down. But at end of the day, the important part is as we are discussing about the room tariff. The room tariff varies because if you talk about the month of September, October, the rates can go up depending on the clientele, depending on the season, depending on the business which is being given to the hotel. But when we talk about the lean season, the rates might go down. And keeping the clientele in mind, we might offer the rates might vary as per to them. The rates vary as per the clients. So this is something a brilliant aspect of a market-based pricing. A person who who cannot who don't want to spend so much maybe it's end of the day we can we we don't want to lose that business we can even take that person we can even grab that opportunity because by end of the day if we are sitting at 8 o'clock in the night and we are we still have some rooms in hand we need to finish it up we need to fill up our inventory because end of the day we should always think that rooms are perishable in case we are not able to sell something today there'll be a new day tomorrow so this is something which is very very important keeping that in mind we need to offer special rates to whosoever it's coming there maybe someone who is a walk-in or maybe someone who is approaching you through the reservations team so rates varies as per their choice as per their preference so in market based pricing we should always keep it in mind that rates always vary keeping the competitor keeping the market in mind so in order to keep the room tariff one should always and always understand when we finalize the room tariff these are the factors which should always keep it in mind when we offer a rates to anyone the hotel's location the competitor the target market these are the integral points which one should always keep it in mind before a room tariff gets finalized thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the session in in order to have more and more knowledge about it We'll have more sessions in the upcoming time. Thank you so much. Have a good day.